What's going on folks? Earthmaster here. Good evening. It is September 9th, 2020. 8.09 p.m. West Coast time here in California. Uh, where it's, oh man, I don't even want to talk about it. It's horrible. Uh, taking a look at the Earthquake 3D globe here. Uh, shows your typical average earthquake activity out here. 4.0 just popped up there on the globe there in the Alaska area. Uh, but for the most part, looking at the activity here, uh, that's actually a little bit past 24 hours here, so we need to bring that back down there. I've seen some quakes on there that should not be on there. Uh, but that's right there, about uh, 24 hours of earthquake activity around the globe. And uh, just pretty pretty standard out there. There's not a whole lot to talk about in the earthquake department tonight. Um, and no unusual quakes that I can see, except for this little one up here that occurred off the east coast, or at least close to the east coast there. Uh, but that's uh, a little 3.1 that uh, occurring. Let's bring you to a different map here so you guys can see exactly where that was at. Right there on the map here. We just talked about an earthquake there in New York, didn't we? On the uh, update video a couple, a couple nights ago, I believe. Anyway, this um, activity here, New Jersey region, a little 3.1. Okay, they do get quakes up here. Now it's not super common, uh, but it's not you know super rare either. It's just uh, it every once in a while it seems like they do get one, especially down here through the uh, Appalachian Mountains region. But if you look at the let's see if we can bring up the U.S. hazards here, and you can kind of see right there where that 3.1 struck, right on that green edge, if you will, of some uh, earthquake hazard, uh, according to the USGS folks there so earthquakes can happen anywhere I'm not even joking anywhere um, so little 3.1 not out of the question there uh, let's see get a little bit more info on it and of course <laughs> 3.1 out here in California would probably not even trigger a whole bunch of folks reporting it but as you can tell the responses there are pretty significant uh, when it comes to people reporting it. Intensity map there, where that star is, mostly light shaking. Uh, there's always going to be a couple um, moderate shaking in the region. A couple folks reported that. And the responses here, are, of course, the population density out there is super, super uh, populated more so than out here in california at least where i live you can see quite a few folks there freehold new jersey 358 responses there and uh of course other areas around the region um just this is just <laughs> this is just uh one of 10 of 435 responses there so quite a bit of people um reported filling it there that 3.1 uh, let's go over here to the, uh, well, let's go back here just a little bit. Ah, oh, that just didn't work there. I wanted to see the historical earthquake activity within that region there. Uh, hold on, stand by for one second here. Bring back the U.S. faults. Been, it's been a fun day, folks. I did not sleep too well last night. I'm hoping for a better night tonight. I'm just super depressing with this cloud cover. Not even cloud cover. It's a uh, uh, smoke cover, if you will. Uh, let's see. What was I after here? Gives a little bit of information about this region right here. Um, earthquakes earthquakes everywhere occur on faults within bedrock use usually miles deep uh, talks a little bit about the uh, continent there 500 to 300 million years ago uh, the raising of the Appalachian App Appalachian Mountains area so you know it's definitely uh, an area that can see earthquakes here and uh, I'm sure that will continue in the future there. So no panic about this specific earthquake out there. Definitely no reason to uh, 
think that it's super abnormal. Uh, West Coast over here, real quick. Go back to the all magnitudes here. Uh, lighten up a little bit. San Francisco, I don't know if you guys seen that. Uh, some pictures floating around in San Francisco today. Just a orange color sky. I mean, the sun completely blocked out. That's how it was. That's how it is. I've been used to that for three weeks now. Um, and today was just extraordinarily strange uh, when it comes to the weather. We were supposed to hit 97 today. We got up to, I think, 80 degrees. So, well under the forecasted temperature because of the smoke cover which completely blocked out the sun there a little earthquake over here by walnut creek a 2.3 the depth of this about 10.5 kilometers or so not any any specific faults here looks like the closest one within about the uh, three mile range is a concord fault here in this area this specific fault structure here um, can see some good moderate sized quakes I guess on on here as well um, but far as any activity on well there's a couple there on the San Andreas fault here but this is a creeping section and these are pretty much micro quakes which occur uh, on any given day within that region so other than that not a whole lot of uh, earthquake activity in any uh, very sensitive region so even Southern California looking pretty quiet for the most part, no swarms going on, no uh, specific areas that we're kind of monitoring at the moment. Ridgecrest still seeing their uh, continued average earthquake activity following last year's big quakes and up here in Nevada as well. A little bit of activity north of, or south of Reno looks like. Of course, this is the Sierra Nevada mountains here. And of course, mountains, fault systems, all sorts of faults up here. And of course you see earthquakes uh, within those faults here in the mountains. So this is not out of the norm either. <clears throat> Excuse me. A couple quakes there. Not not related to any volcanoes, anything like that. Just standard plate tectonics up here. Um, within the region. Uh, we did lose a beautiful little community today. Or last night I should say. Late last night the... Uh, Paradise, and I'm sure you guys remember Paradise, California, the uh, town that got completely destroyed there back in 2018 from the Camp Fire. Um, people are rebuilding up there. The fire is within this vicinity right now, pretty close, uh, getting close to Paradise once again. Uh, but we did lose uh, Berry Creek, a little community that you've seen right down there. A lot of uh, homes destroyed. I'm hearing about some unfortunate fatalities as well within that region. So the fire is pretty massive here, folks. I just kind of wanted to show you guys just this area. There's a lot of, man, just a lot of beautiful communities up there. Feather Falls, a beautiful hiking area. Uh, I heard that's toast as well. So just not good. It's horrible out here. I'm waiting for the rainy season here in a couple months. Until then, hopefully I can survive. Going up here towards the Intermountain West, Idaho region, seeing a few quakes, and also up in, uh, looks like parts of Yellowstone National Park here, there's a little trio of uh, some small quakes right around the Hebgen Lake Estates there in Montana. Uh, is that Montana? Close to Montana. Oh, it looks like Montana. Uh, just really small microquakes there. Other than that, that's uh, not a whole lot going on up there. Looks like a little query blast. Of course, that's common in mountainous areas and, and unmountainous areas. Just depends on where they want to blow stuff up. Uh, let's see, Yellowstone National Park here. Little microquaking going on here in the south central part of the park there. You can see Little West Thumb. Showing some small quakes, just a couple of them. Uh, maybe, I'd say maybe three or four. Looks like a couple there as well, but not uh, definitely not any kind of swarming or anything like that going on there in Yellowstone National Park. So, Mary Lake. This is a basically instrument adjustment. I'm guessing 
either, either went offline or something went on there uh, within the instrument reading. So that's exactly what that is. You see it pretty common, pretty pretty uh, common there at times when the folks are working on it or they need to adjust it and whatnot. But uh, other than that, pretty quiet, folks. Looking pretty uh, pretty quiet up there in that region of the world. Uh, let's see what else we got here. I think we covered pretty much everything here. Uh, Indonesia Islands area looking pretty, like I said, average. Aside from that little quake over there in New York, or at least New Jersey area, we're not seeing a whole lot of um, activity on the globe today. Which brings us to our day in history. This day in history, back in September 9th, 1954. A 6.8 earthquake struck nor northern Algeria. Uh, and here, according to the USGS article, it is one of the world's deadliest earthquakes. Severe damage and about 3,000 people injured uh, in the area. Uh, those are the number of unfortunate uh, fatalities there. And quite a few aftershocks following that earthquake as well. A lot of activity over there. Uh, USGS kind of pointing in that region there on their uh, Today in Earthquake History map. Anyway, trimmer. Let's run to, through the trimmer real quick. I always tend to forget this, so that's why... I'm always remembering it at the end for some reason. Pretty quiet here today. Just a little bit of trimmer movement up here south of the Olympia, Washington region. Other than that, we're looking pretty quiet through Northern California, Oregon, and into Vancouver Island area as well. So have a good night, folks. I'm going to try to get to bed early. I just, man, just in one of those moods. For those that may be wondering my, the fire situation here for my area, I'm not in any threat or any danger um, of any fires at the moment here. I'm surrounded by all, all sorts of fires. I mean, the Cal Fire map is just absolutely um, ridiculous. Look at this map here real quick while I'm here. I'll show you guys. Check out all these active fire perimeters. The big one that I'm talking about here that kind of destroyed that... Well, it did destroy Berry Creek, and that's close by me, and approaching Paradise, California as well, is the Bear Fire, or the Bear Fire. Let's see if I can click on it. Is it going to let me? You can see Lake Oroville right here. There were some evacuation orders within the vicinity, and it did, from what I hear, reach into parts of Oroville. Um right around Kelly Ridge area but uh, yeah that's that's oh man not good there's like I said there's fires over here there's fires to the west that's a big one there that's the second largest one here in California uh, history so far and the biggest one actually occurred within this same area but a little bit further to the west and south uh, far as the acres burned but this one's fastly approaching then they're merging and it's not good. It's pretty bad. So, anyway, we will survive, I suppose. And um, of course, you guys aren't seeing what I was—I forgot I flipped back here. Gosh darn it! Here's the map, real quick, again, folks. That's the uh, that's the specific fire area right here. This major big fire near Paradise Lake Oroville. This is the one I was talking about. The second most uh, second largest fire in California history is what I was trying to say. So anyway, I'm tired. I need some sleep. I didn't get much sleep last night. I'm going to go ahead and flip it back to the stream. I hope everyone has a good night. You can see a little bit of a spike of an earthquake there on Yellowstone National Park. The seismograph station there. Uh, Lake Yellowstone showing a little bit of activity. But uh, then again, that's normal. Hope everyone has a good night, sleep well out there, and we will chat at you guys another time. Peace out.